All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a big essay right in front of you. What are you going to do about it? You're going to read it, look at it, stare at it, not look at it, not read it, skip it. I'll probably skip it and just choose random letters, to be honest. Well, this bad boy says an engineering firm has an overall design responsibility for a large multifaceted construction project. Ill. The state in which the work is being conducted requires civil, structural, environmental, electrical, and mechanical engineering plans. <laughs> Screw you, material science, am I right? Plans to be prepared and stamped by a professional engineer. Which of the following statements are true? Select all that apply. That's so much work, man. There's so many words. I just read like 100 words in like the span of like 30 seconds. <sighs> Letter A. Responsibility for the coordination of the entire project can be accepted by the firm's senior engineer who is responsible for signing and sealing all the submitted plans. Now, let me tell you something. Once you join the workforce and you're signing documents, I mean, I don't have the legal capability of signing documents, but I do not work under a uh, engineering firm or a civil firm or anything like that. So I can sign documents for my team, but remember... Uh, your documentation or whatever you sign should be your own responsibility. You should not be signed for someone else's design unless you are know what you are doing and you supported that design and went through the analysis and stuff like that. So if you're signing for someone else, uh, don't do it. Uh, that's a big no-no and don't do that. Uh, responsibility for coordination of the entire project can be accepted by the firm's senior engineer if each technical submittal is signed. Submittal. Uh, is signed and sealed. I, never, I don't think I've ever said that word, submittal. Uh, is signed and sealed by the qualified engineer assigned to it. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Qualified engineer signs off the documents for that specific project. So if you're doing environmental, go to the environmental engineer for that uh, department. The foremost responsibility of the professional engineers is to safeguard the health, safety, and welfare of the public when performing services for clients and people. Dude, this is like uh, this, uh, the preamble to the constitution of engineers you know what i'm saying this is the um y you read this you're like you read this once and you're like okay health safety and welfare if you don't do this man man oh man you're gonna get some get into deep uh stuff if, if you know what i mean the technical competence of the professional engineers on the project is not as okay let's circle this keyword not as let's so it's a, com a compare and contrast draw your venn diagrams um get that out get that on your pen and pencils um no paper just pen and pencils write your venn diagram on your pen and pencils uh, the technical competence of the professional engineers on the project is not as important as their responsibility to disclose their employers or clients all known of or potential conflicts or of interest or other circumstances that could influence or appear to influence their judgment of the quality of their profession. I don't even know what I, I forgot. I forgot what I just read to be honest, but essentially it's saying, I believe, um, technical expertise is not as important as just letting people know about problems. Uh, that is, please God, no, if you, if, please don't do that. Your technical expertise is at least as important as disclosing your employers or cli uh, clients of problems. So don't undermine your own te uh, technical expertise. Uh, so this is wrong. It should be on par. Um, question E or letter E. Licensing laws and rules governing engineering professional practice may vary in each in each of the jurisdictions in which a license practices. Yes, there's different rules, different laws, and different departments, professional practice jurisdictions. Yes, laws. It's not just one governing thing. It's diverse. It's complicated. It's complicated for a reason. You can't just do stuff, or you can't assume. So. Uh, B, C, and E are the correct answers.